everybody, Joe Tessitore, Teddy Atlas, welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. Six rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. From Obregon, Antonio Chavez. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Chavez has got it all in front of him right now, standing opposite a guy who can leapfrog him into success. If he's able to pull off this upset, the sky's the limit. He gets all the things that we all aspire to when we're young. Fame, fortune, a pretty girl, too. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations. Big shot. Oh, and there you go. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block. is rising back up. That takes some guts. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He, look at that! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. That is Boxing 101. Wow! Antonio Chavez is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Listen, the fighter's always going to argue, but Teddy, that's a referee doing his job, stopping a fight that should be stopped. They're better too soon than too late, and I think this was right on time. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. Kenny, back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Heavyweight action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop, right, the former middleweight Protect prospect, all time. now fighting Let's his second fight as a heavyweight. He will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least what we've been hearing out of the Bishop camp, is that they're very conscious of the body punching of Castillo. So look for Bishop to try to defend that well. Good work! Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher. But if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. 
They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. He clinches when he gets to the inside. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And bang, and away he goes. He just went down. The in-fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. He's committed to that jab. And he, wow, impactful. There it is! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? <laughs> What a soap opera it's been for Andre Bishop, and now you can write a new chapter. His second win as a heavyweight. He knocks out Raul Castillo here in Mexico City.